Uh, hi, my name is Tom Antos and today I'm going to show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to use a light reflector. Uh, this will come in handy whenever you're filming outside uh, and you're just getting a shot of a you know, regular subject. And uh, you know, when, when you get, really get really really harsh uh, shadows from, from the sun. Uh, so here's the kind of reflector that we'll be using today. One side has this sort of a white you know, just surface uh, and then the other one is silver. Uh, the, basically the difference in that is um, the white it just kind of gives you a softer you know less intense light and the silver is it reflects the light you know a lot a lot stronger and and also the the shadows are a little bit harder because of that uh you you can buy this type of a reflector you know online i i, I got mine on ebay um it can cost depending on the size it can cost anywhere from like fifty dollars to a hundred dollars um and uh, really there's no difference I found with, you know, buying the more expensive ones other than the fact that they, they will last you longer. They're just built, uh, you know, from a stronger material. So anyways, uh, once you have, a, you know, a reflector like that, uh, here's sort of what you can do. Um, this is a regular shot here, just shot outside in the sunlight. And uh, as you can see, our subject has, you know, just regular shadows like you would expect to have. Now, here, um, I'm going to have... My assistant come in and help me, and uh, he's gonna basically put the reflector with the silver side facing our subject, um, if and and sort of angled so that the light bounces off of the, the the sunlight bounces off of the reflector, and the light ends up falling in on the on her right side of her face here. So as you can see, if you were to look at the, how it looks before. Uh, you know, there's a quite a quite big, big of a difference because the shadows before were just really, really dark and intense. Whereas now you kind of, you know, even out those shadows on the face. Now you'll also notice right away that uh, our subject is squinting a lot, and that's because we just, you know, we very quickly shot this example. But uh, but that's one thing when you're shooting with reflectors. Reflectors, especially if you're using the silver side, they tend to, you know, provide a lot of really, really strong light. So. You have to sort of uh, set it up and then let, you know, wait a few minutes sometimes to let the subjects, you know, your actor's uh, eyes adjust basically. Uh, because at the beginning it is going to be very harsh for them. So, you know, either, either that or just, you know, put sunglasses on your, on your actor. Uh, but if you can't do that, then just, yeah, just go wait a few minutes and then eventually the, the, your actor's eyes will, will adjust. Um, you can use the reflector in many different ways, just depending on, you know, basically where the sun is uh, in relation to your subject. Here, the sun is pretty much, you know, like straight above, a little bit to the right side of the camera. Uh, so the the reflector we're gonna put, you can we can put it here on the side, like we have it, or we can put it underneath up here, as you can see. Uh, and that also fills out the shadows here from the bottom. Uh, and here's how it looks again without without any of that stuff in there. Now here we moved our subject so the sun is on her right side, and you can see the left side of the face is completely in shadow. Uh, and so then I'm gonna have the reflector placed, you know, exactly, basically almost 90 degrees to to our subject's left side or to the right side of the of the camera, and that again just evens out those shadows a bit more, uh, makes it less noticeable. So this is how it looks with um, the silver, and then if you put the, the use the white side of the reflector, which again, like I said, it just makes the light a bit softer. Here's how it looks. And also, it's more less intense, so it's kind of easier for for the for the actor. Uh, again, you can place it underneath. Sometimes it depends, you know, which kind of shadows you want to get rid of. Now, you do have to be careful when you're placing the reflector underneath the actor because sometimes you can create, especially like I wouldn't recommend using the silver side when you when you're putting the reflector, you know, completely, you know, underneath to kind of brighten up the shadows under the nose and stuff because uh, the silver side is so strong that it will end up. Um, creating actually extra shadows you know above your your actor's cheek and and stuff like that and it kind of just looks like you have this strong light you know light lighting your subject from the bottom which uh just looks kind of weird and when you're outside in a daylight situation so here we move the subject again and we're actually completely um you know the, the sun is almost completely behind our subject so the whole you know face as you can see of her uh, is in the shadow and mm, when you place the reflector up here, see from the side, it that also works, but it ends up basically sort of creating a, a shadow on her right side of the, of the face, which, you know, if this is the kind of look you're going for, it's, it's great. Uh, but if you want to just get as much of this sort of even light on, on your actor's face, then 
it's best to come um, almost um, almost like completely in front of her without you know having your, your reflector visible in the shot so so up here I have the reflector moved basically you know right in front of her and then just to the right side here of the camera so we don't see it too much um, and then here once again I'm going to show you how it looks when you put the under uh, put the reflector underneath and here's those kind of shadows that I was talking about where it just looks very very harsh and almost unnatural you know because you wouldn't expect this kind of lighting to during the, during the day and I see many people do that when they're filming outside and they're using reflectors and I don't recommend you know putting um, again especially if you're using a very reflective side like the silver or, or uh, some some reflectors have like this golden kind of a you know side to them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using that or directly underneath because it's just going to create extra shadows, which can actually sometimes you know back backfire and make your subject look e even worse. Uh, another thing actually I wanted to mention uh, is that there are different kind of reflectors. Some will have a silver, some will have gold, you know, uh, sides. Some have even sort of different tints of colors. And really, all that it does is that it it just kind of gives you a slight a slight color to the light that is reflecting, but I find in you know my use that like 99% of the time I, I just prefer having just straight neutral kind of white light that it reflects. Uh, so I prefer having a, a silver and then a white side and that's it. And you know if I ever need, really need to add some kind of warmth you know or something then I can always do that by adjusting my white balance in my camera. So I wouldn't really bother um, you know if, b b buying or spending money on one reflector that's silver and one that's that's gold. And so anyways, here's how this finished shot looks. And again, this is how it looked before without the reflector. So as you can see, reflectors can make a big difference. Um, you know, sort of a pain in the ass with them is that uh, you have to, you know, you have to have uh, somebody holding the reflector for you. And also if it's a really windy day, you won't be able to really use it sometimes because the reflector will probably end up sort of shaking and moving. And that actually makes it look like there's a, a moving light you know on your subject so that can kind of make the shot kind of distracting but uh but if it's just a nice sunny day then uh, yeah it's it's a, it's a good thing to use many people ask me uh so how do you really like wh how do you know where to place the the, the reflector um you know, in relation to your subject and kind of i mean there are no rules but kind of you know my sort of rule that a guide that i go by whenever i start you know so with the reflector is that i usually place it um on the exact opposite side uh, of the subject as as the sun is so for example in this case the sun is you know behind a little bit to the left of our subject and the reflector i would first place it you know right in front a little bit to the right um and that you know from that there i'll just kind of fine tune its position and, and the angle but that's kind of where i started off or in this example here where the the, the sun is to the left I'll basically first start off by having the our reflector exactly to you know to you know on the opposite side, which we do here to to uh, to the right side of the camera, and and again so it's sort of like almost you could say 180 degrees you know on the opposite side, so that's sort of where, where I start, and then uh, once again I'll sort of adjust its position and 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 the angle once I have it there, but uh, but that's uh, that, that's just as I would say a good starting point. Uh, another thing uh, I get asked also is that you know is it is it important to have a really big reflector? Um, I, for most situations, no. Like you can see the reflector that we're using here, uh, it's around 50 inches, I believe, um, and that that is good for most situations. Now, if you want to get like a full body shot or or you know a shot of maybe two or three people, then you might want to get something even bigger. But like I said, that rarely happens, especially since you know when you're getting a full body shot. That means that you're so far away from the subject's face that you don't really care about having those those shadows filled in and stuff because it's sort of you're looking at the overall exposure of the shot and the and the face of the your subject is, is isn't the main the you know element in it. So really, I mean, you're really gonna end up using the reflector in, in kind of a medium to you know tight shots. Uh, you know when you when you're looking at the face. Um, so yeah, so the size again doesn't matter, but if you, if, you know, if, if you can afford it, it's you know it's, it's a good option to have another extra large sort of reflector that you know if, once again if you don't mind taking it with you because it is you know uh, does take up extra space. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, stay tuned for future videos uh, on my channel here uh, by subscribing, um, so you can you can automatically get a notification in your email when I upload the new tutorials. And next one. Uh, I'm going to upload will be about uh, sort of lighting tips 
uh, outside at night and sort of you know what are your options on a, on a you know minimum to low budget and I'm gonna use an example that I did for example in this music video with Jay Rice and then and then after that I'm gonna have another really cool tutorial about just getting really nice you know outside landscape kind of shots uh, so, so stay tuned for that so uh, you know subscribe rate and comment and uh, thank you guys. Did you fold it? <laughs> yeah. Yay. Whoa, you did Yay. it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs>